Welcome to the Legacy Ender. My name is Daniel. We're here at Board Phenomenal Expo in San Antonio. And I'm joined here with the legendary Brad Hawkins. You may know him as Ryan Steele, VR Troopers. Trooper Transform! We are VR! Also, Treo Treforia technically has huh? the Gold Ranger yeah. from Power Rangers Zeo, man. All right! It's time for Gold Rush! You do your homework, right? You, you gotta do. dig for it a little bit. <laughs> We don't have to dig too hard anymore. No, no, no. They're no. not trying to hide stuff from anymore. <laughs> like I think the community knows our Rangers now for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So how are you doing, man? How are you enjoying San Antonio? Good, man. It's day two. Uh, yeah. It's been it's been a great. I mean, uh, yesterday was great. Yeah. Uh, yes, packed yes. house. I mean, it was pretty pretty busy the entire time. The whole six hours that we were here. Great panel with you right. and uh, Steve you. Gardinish yesterday. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're back for round two. And you, like you said, we we're talking about you're you're a Texas boy. Have you ever been to, down to San Antonio before? Yeah, I've been okay. here a couple of times. And uh, you know, for me, I'm more of a when I come out here, it's more, I'm more of a tourist. So like, gotcha. I had my my uh, my daughter with me. It's her birthday this weekend, so we went down to Riverwalk last night and had dinner and celebrated her birthday together. But uh, yeah, that's the first time she's been down here. Oh, that's awesome, man! Yeah. The lights out there are pretty. Yeah. The, as long she's as you like, don't look at the water, you're good. She's just like boat, boat, <laughs> boat. You know, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So. Um, one thing we talked about on the panel yesterday, what I want to talk about here as well, is that we hear a lot about how you originally were hired with Saban, and you are originally hired as the White Ranger. They were going to be the White Ranger, yeah, correct? Yeah, cast as the White Ranger, yeah. Now, we know that you were getting ready to do that. Do you remember the process of what it was like when they were telling you you're going to be the White Ranger? Do you know if there was any, like, uh, creative decisions that were being brought up to you or anything that were kind of telling you at that time? Man, short of the audition, because, um, I mean, yeah, I just moved to L.A., I want to say six months before I actually got the uh, the casting notice for it. Mm -hmm. I think Katie Wallen, which casted most most of us in the original cast for Power Rangers and VR Troopers, um, we, uh, th that was her casting company. And it was said, you know, I think his character's name was Adam, it might have been, if I remember back. But okay. um, it was just the script that I was reading off of, and everything was Power Rangers related. It was, I mean, I heard that this is the new White Ranger they're going to introduce this season, and I, had, I, had, you know, the first year of uh, first season of, of uh, uh, Power Rangers is so popular. I mean, even I knew about it. I wasn't necessarily even really watching the show, but yeah. I knew it was a worldwide hit. It was like so that was, Pokemon kind of oh yeah thing that happened. So it's, yeah, even though I, I wasn't a show I was that familiar with, I knew it was it was massive globally. Yeah. And so I was like, sure. And I mean, it was my first acting gig. I think it was 18, you oh, know? Wow. So yeah, 17, 18 years old, I was right out of high school. And um, and so, you know, I did the audition. Uh, I was in LA at the time and I was brand new, brand new. I was very green as an actor, but I had some martial arts background in my, in my uh, growing up as, as a kid. And uh, it all tied together, a little bit of acting, a little bit of martial arts. And, you know, this character really just kind of fit. Yeah. And I was the right age. I was at the right place, and you know everything. Everything happened. So next thing I know, I got the part. But I, I didn't even know anything about VR Troopers. There was yeah. no VR Troopers. It was still Cybertron. Was the pilot that Jason David Frank did? And you can find like that's on YouTube. You put in Cybertron, Jason David Frank, or Cybertron pilot, and it's VR Troopers, but with Jason David Frank yeah. as the as the lead. So that's pretty cool. So the original then, idea was going to be were for VR Troopers. Now I'm not very familiar with Metal Men, but. Um, the, the red blue was yeah. gonna be the singular hero in yeah, the show. Yeah, right? and, and so that's a, I believe it's a, a Japanese show called a Metaldor, okay. M-E-T-A-L-D-O-R, like Metaldor. I think that's the blue and red character. He has his own own show, his own right. footage. And then the other members of VR Troopers uh, had a show called, uh, I think it was Shider. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with Metal yeah, Man. It was another series, it was, like, it was the two of them. So it was, it was my single show, and then they had a show where they were, a, you know, a, a, a team. Yeah. And then they blended both shows together. So that's why you'll hardly ever see all three of us in the same scene. Right. It's like, you guys go do this, I'll go do this. Right. Because you go do your footage, I'm going to go do my footage. <laughs> now, when when they first called you and said, like, hey, VR Troopers, we're going to do VR Troopers, man. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the project we're putting you on. Mm -hmm. Was it originally going to be just you or did they bring in the other two later on or is that they kind of just changed it once jason david frank I, yeah once 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 they it's always out there um but uh once they decided because jason david frank was going to come over and do vr troopers i was going to do the white ranger but i mean it was literally an audible that they called at the last okay. minute they're like look we're getting so much fan mail he's so popular we can't lose him from the series right. so they just honestly they made that switch 
they I, they may have made it out to where it sounded like it was kind of up to me, but it really wasn't. It okay. was like, hey, here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep him on, on Power Rangers, and we're going to give you your own TV show. And I was like, oh, that sounded much better. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. yeah, it's not you're getting the boot from Power Rangers. We're going to give you your own show. Right. I was like, well, that, that sounds – it's a much better sounding way to, you know, way to get the boot. What, what did you think of the show? Because what, what I remember about that show was that it was actually a little bit more darker than most children's I've shows. Way more darker than Power Rangers. I've heard that, uh, yeah, VR Troopers is more mature. That's the way it's described. They're like, your show had – had a had a plot with the father and right. the whole storyline and they, they but even the villain kind of had like um praying to the evil yeah. devil sort yeah. of thing and Sinister, i was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh what did you kind of think about that when you moved over were you kind of like oh this is a little bit refreshing I did, or I, again i didn't i didn't watch the show enough no. to really be able to compare gotcha. um i didn't I, I didn't know that until fans uh brought that to my attention they were gotcha, like oh yeah gotcha. yours is a little more serious <laughs> a little more darker i was like is it really yeah I was like, okay so i was looking at it through the lens of we're beating up bad guys. We're saving the world. Right. I just didn't. I didn't really I didn't dig into it that much. But they they did. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So, the Air Troopers just kind of like ended, and and we know now that like the footage kind of ran out. It was getting really yeah. hard. What was that like for you guys? Like, what? How did they tell you guys like, hey, we're just gonna stop, or was it always gonna be a planned stop, or what was that like? Yeah, and I mean, I think as when you're when you're working for Saban and when we were on set, there's always the impending, you know, possibility that you might get canceled. Yeah. You might run out of footage. The toys might not sell, and everything was based on the bar of Power Rangers. Right. So, and, and basically, an impossible bar okay. to beat. I got and you. so it was once we didn't sell enough toys. Once I mean, we were number one. I think we we're number one show. Uh, on Fox and they were syndicated or something like that, but it was yeah. like, they were number one. We were number one. It was like, depending on the location I got you. and depending on what, what, um, what part of a uh, United States we were in and what time zone it, I mean, it was us and us neck and neck as far as, uh, ratings. Yeah. But when it came down to toy sales, I mean, they just dominated. No one was ever going to catch up with that. And I think that yeah. was what the real business of all this was, was about selling toys. Yeah. I mean, I, I, for, for me as a kid, I remember I had a lot of your toy uh, or the yeah. trooper toys. Yeah. So, when you said that initially, I was like, really? But then I was like, if the Power Rangers is the bar, oh, yeah. how are you going to yeah, meet them? That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. And if, if the TV show is just more of a glorified commercial to buy more toys, right. you know? So it's like after a while, it didn't even make sense to keep it, gotcha. to keep the show going. So yeah, it was always that impending doom of like, oh no, are we going to do another season? And I think we did 92 episodes in two years, which is ridiculous. Yeah, it was a lot. Like, There's four episodes every yeah, You're the only days. one that had two suits. Yeah. yeah, they need more footage yeah. for you. Yeah, <laughs> and bring in another TV show. Yeah. yeah, just for the second season. So yeah, exactly. I think by the end of the second season, they probably just looked at it and went, "Ah, eh, we haven't sold enough toys. We have to go get more footage." You know, it was gotcha. a nice. It was a nice run. You know? so, so since VR Troopers, uh, the ADR work kind of came in handy because mm -hmm. you've been on shows like My Hero Academia. Yeah, you've been yeah. on One Piece as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. How did you get into the anime world, and and what's the differences there? Awesome. When, uh, yeah, the, all my training through doing voiceovers uh, with ADR for uh, Power Rangers, VR Troopers, all that stuff, no, kind of taught me how to how to the skill of right. it in the studio. And then uh, when I moved back to Dallas, uh, there was a company called Funimation, and it was, well, it was Funimation first, and they had One Piece and all these other shows like Goblin Slayer and, and the other shows that I did, D. Grayman, um, Trigun, all those shows. And it was 15 minutes from my house. So when I moved yeah. back into Dallas, my agent was like, you know, it just, it makes, it makes sense. You have training in this. You yeah. should consider doing voiceovers. It's your home too. Yeah. yeah. And, I'm, and I'm really close to the studio. So yeah. it just made sense. And I mean, along the way I've lucked up, I've got, you know, big, bigger roles like uh Goblin Slayer or Diamante in one right. piece. So it's, it's bigger, bigger. Yeah. Names. I'm, I'm like, Oh, I'm in that show. I'm a part of that show. You, you and Johnny ever like meet up and be like, what are, what, who are we? Who are we? It's who are we? so funny because he does a lot of work. He, yeah. I mean, he's really, he's really tapped into the anime space and voiceovers, and he's crushing on that level. Yeah. Um, and we did Trigun together, right. and uh, as the two main characters, I don't even think we knew we were the other <laughs> character until the end of the movie. That's I was funny. like, "Hey, who who did that voice?" He's like, "Oh, it's Johnny Bosch." I go, <laughs> yeah, "Yeah, yeah." So the Power Rangers reunite. That, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So this has been about. 25 maybe 30 map. years i don't want to do, do i want to do the map it's been a long time <laughs> but it kind of seems like right now would be like a really good time for a reboot for vr 
if you if they called you and be like, man, we want you involved in some way, Brad, whether it's you know on screen or writing or producing or anything like that, is that something you'd be interested in? And then do you have any ideas? You know, the, the only and someone mentioned that when I was signing yesterday, and it, I, it's the first time I've ever actually thought about it. I wouldn't want to come back as you know the, the character, say Ryan Steele in right. that role. But what really made sense is if I was to take uh, Richard Rabago's role of Tao and be okay. the sensei, okay. you know, and actually yeah. just as you've seen, you know, with um, with uh, uh, Cobra Kai, where you know Daniel comes, he's his, his own, own his own coach and everything, right. his own teacher. So I could see that being an unveiling of me taking over Tao Dojo, and then I've got my own set of VR troopers right. that I could That'd mentor cool. them, and I could train them and I, I think that that would make sense to me that'd be that fun man yeah. i think it's a really good time i think yeah. it's the, the climate is perfect for yeah. it right now so yeah. yeah and i don't have to kick and <laughs> fight nearly as much i can let the fight come to me i'll just be like all right just come to me i don't want to i don't i don't have much energy i can't come over there <laughs> and then cut yeah. stunt, yeah. Stunt. Yeah, stunts. <laughs> well i want to thank you for taking this time speaking with it. us man and giving yeah. us a real good insight in vr and Absolutely. your life what's going on now Absolutely, but man. appreciate you where thank can you. they find you on thank you um, all my all my uh, socials are Mr. Brad Hawkins. So awesome. Everything. Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Awesome, man. Yeah. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook, yeah. all that. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.